Um, strategy number two is adaptive risk. Um, I think adaptive risk funds do what most people think a financial advisor is doing, but no, no one in the country does. I think what people think a financial advisor does is they sit down and look at the, you know, the economy and what's going on. And they sell and they, they go into the client's account and they say, okay, this client was a, got a scale of one to 10 of five risk. Things look pretty good. We're going to take them to an eight, right? There's no financial advisor in the country that will do that because if we are wrong as financial advisors and we take you to an eight, you know, without talking to you first, and then the market goes down for some unforeseen reason, guess who you are going to sue and who you should sue? Us. So no financial advisor in the world does that as a result of that risk. Adaptive risk funds do that. So adaptive risk funds look at your portfolio at a given amount of time. So you know some of them are monthly, some are quarterly, some are actually daily. And they can make changes to the, to the risk level inside of your account. Um, they can be wrong sometimes, which is why I don't think anyone should have 100% of their money into an adaptive risk fund. Um, but maybe having, having an adaptive risk into like one of these categories here, if we made one adaptive risk and rebalanced into and out of it, I think that it can have a, a portion in a lot of people's portfolio, actually. Um, so here's kind of how they work. They usually look at several different economic indicators, right? So maybe like economic condition, consumer sentiment, and market momentum um, are three of the, of the common ones. If all of these are green, right, you could see so the, the adaptive risk fund to go 100% aggressive. 100% aggressive would mean tech, you know, buying usually 50 to 100 stocks that are more risky than the overall marketplace. Um, they usually define that by looking at something called beta. Beta is just a measurement of how much up and down, you know, basically that a stock does. So if, if, the, if everything's green and everything's looking rosy, your adaptive risk fund may move you to very aggressive stocks. Um, then let's say one of these turn, you know, like, kind of consumer sentiment, actually University of Michigan does the biggest one in the world uh, of consumer confidence. So let's say consumer sentiment, University of Michigan is set at 50. So if it's above 50, it means people are confident. If it's below 50, it means they're kind of pessimistic. So let's say people are like a 47, you know, at, on a U of M consumer sentiment. And that kind of turns red to the adaptive risk fund. They will sell your stocks that are super aggressive and they'll probably buy like, you know, some market, about equal to the market. So a beta of about one. So about the same volatility of the overall like S&P stock market. Um, then let's say another one turns, you know, kind of yellow or red and, and starts to concern them. They will then sell those stocks that are about market risk. And they're going to go with super conservative stocks. You know, think Coca-Cola, right? People don't buy much less, much more or less Coca-Cola based on what's going on in the economy. Procter & Gamble makes toilet paper. Um, you know, DTE makes electricity. These are things that people use about the same amount of no matter if there's a recession or not. So they'll kind of stick in, um, in stocks or maybe a little bit of cash, but they'll just be super conservative. If all three of them go red, I mean, some stuff's hitting the fan and they can literally go to 100% cash. Um, there are quite a few funds out there who no one missed COVID. Um, no one saw a pandemic coming, but there are some of these adaptive risk funds that, I mean, COVID started to hit and only went down a little bit and they got right out. Um, again, there are others that got out too late, right? It was more near the bottom and then the market rebounded very sharply and they ended up losing a little bit. Um, but some got out very quickly. Um, others completely missed the recession of 2008. Like the market started to turn a little bit. They saw some things they didn't like. Everything turned red. They went to cash for sometimes a couple of years and the entire time the market was going down, they didn't really lose almost anything. Um, so there are adaptive risk Each of them works a little bit differently. And a lot of times we won't, because they all have kind of a different philosophy, we might even use two or three that all kind of complement each other. So you're not into one kind of strategy or philosophy. Um, but I think adaptive risk funds are another way that in a market that's a little bit high, you can have some exposure to that would reduce your overall risk while still giving you a lot, if not all, of the upside of, of the market.